in today's session we will take some problems based on voltmeter and ammeter we have seen how a galvanometer can be converted into a voltmeter and an ammeter to measure voltage and current respectively now today we will see some problems based on these two instruments now first one you take first you take down this question this is based on ammeter a galvanometer has a resistance of 30 ohm Thirty ohm. Thirty ohm. Galvanometer has a resistance of thirty ohm. And then it gives full scale deflection with a current of two milli amperes. It gives full scale deflection. full scale deflection with a current of with a current of 2 milliamps calculate the value of resistance needed calculate the value of resistance needed needed to convert it into an ammeter an ammeter of range 0 to 0 0.3 amps of range 0 to 0 0.3 amperes ok first we will read this a galvanometer has resistance of 30 ohm. It gives full scale deflection with a current of 2 milli amperes. Calculate the value of resistance needed to convert it into an ammeter of range 0 to 0 0.3 amps. Now, first we will write the list out the given things. Given galvanometer resistance. given galvanometer resistance rg equal to 30 ohm now the galvanometer gives full scale deflection for a current of 2 milliamperes therefore full scale deflection current or current for which the galvanometer shows full scale deflection so or the range of galvanometer i can say you know range of galvanometer this current can be taken as ig equal to 2 milliamperes now now we need to calculate what is the resistance needed to convert we know a galvanometer of range ig and has resistance rg can be converted into an ammeter by connecting a small value of resistance in parallel so the range current that has to be measured as you know i the maximum current that it has to measure as 0.3 amperes So the circuit can carry current up to 0.3 mil amperes. The galvanometer can be converted into the galvanometer can be converted into an ammeter can be converted into an ammeter by connecting 
a small resistance r small resistance r by connecting a small resistance r in parallel with galvanometer parallel with galvanometer and this value of r is given by the value of r is ig into rg divided by i minus ig now we know all these quantities let us substitute ig is 2 milliamperes rg is 30 and i is 0 0.3 ig is 2 milliamperes convert it into SA units milli is 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by rg that is 30 divided by i is 0 0.3 minus ig is 2 milliamperes now calculate this so you have to get a small value of resistance r so 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 30 divided by 0.3 minus 2 milliamperes to the calculation you will get a small value so this value is around 0.2 ohms so this given galvanometer can be converted into an ammeter by connecting r is equal to 0.2 ohm in parallel with the galvanometer coil so the value of resistance required to convert it into an ammeter is 0.2 ohm now we will take another problem which will show us how to calculate the resistance to convert the galvanometer into a voltmeter. So first you take down the question. A galvanometer coil of 50 ohm resistance Fifty ohm resistance. Fifty ohm. Resistance. Shows full scale deflection for a current of five milliamperes. Shows full scale deflection. full scale deflection for a current of 5 milliamperes how will you convert this galvanometer into a voltmeter of range how will you convert this galvanometer into a voltmeter of range of range 0 to 15 volt ok so first read the question a galvanometer coil of 50 ohm resistance shows full scale deflection for a current of 5 milliamperes how will you convert this galvanometer into a so here sorry voltmeter V is missing into a voltmeter of range 0 to 15 volts now first again list out the given things so that it will be easy for you to find out the resistance now given a 
calorimeter resistance given calorimeter resistance rg equal to 50 ohm also given the galvanometer current for which it shows the full scale deflection so current ig is given full scale deflection current that is 5 milliamps and then how will you convert this galvanometer into a voltmeter of range 0 to 15 volt so the maximum voltage which it has to measure is 15 volt The range varies from 0 to 15 volt. So, the maximum voltage which the instrument has to measure is 15 volt. Now, we know a galvanometer can be connected into voltmeter by connecting a very high resistance in series. And this will give you the voltage V. Now once you know V, the resistance, resistance or we can write a galvanometer can be converted into voltmeter. As converted <coughs> into a voltmeter. by connecting a very high resistance very high resistance in series with the galvanometer galvanometer is converted into a voltmeter by connecting a high resistance in series with the galvanometer in series with the galvanometer. So therefore, now the series resistance R is given by the series resistance which has to be connected as given by V divided by IG minus RG. Now V is 15 volt and Ij given is 5 milliamperes and the galvanometer coil resistance is 50 ohm now calculate this so this is 15 by 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 that is 3000 minus 50 yes the answer is 2950 ohm Now, a resistance R is equal to 2950 ohm is to be connected in series with galvanometer to convert it into a desired voltmeter. A resistance R is equal to 2950 ohm is to be connected. is to be connected in series with connected in series with galvanometer to convert it into a desired voltmeter So this is how a galvanometer can be, con this these two problems show us how a galvanometer can be converted into an ammeter also and a voltmeter.